Hi, I'm David Say, Steve from Art Consultant with Paper Gecko, coming from a very sunny London. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today and give you five tips about performing website migrations. Some of the things that you might want to look out for. I've performed a number of these over the last 20 years and I can honestly say no two are the same. So let's have a look. Going straight in, number one, you need to get in there early. As soon as you have an idea that there may be these changes, make sure that you are, are there and ready to go. The earlier you can get in, the better. You're going to need all the time you can get. Number two, you have to be prepared for these. Uh, the migrations, even the, the simplest migrations, have a tendency not to go very straightforward. Uh, also don't underestimate the scale of some of the larger projects and how they may grow and of course watch out for scope creep. Number three, make sure you understand the wider changes on the business. Um, there may be other parts of the business that have uh, elements of the website that are under their own ownership. Make sure you understand the impact of a migration on those departments, on those people within the business. Number four, without any doubt, you need to be organized. I generally start every migration project with a full website audit. This gives you the benchmark uh, before the audit that you can use once you've completed to make sure that you are on track, that your visibility is still up there and you haven't missed anything. And then finally, number five, test, test, test. You need that time to run those tests because as soon as Go Live comes, it's probably going to be a straight flip over and you don't want to find out any scary stuff at that point. I hope those have been some help for you and uh, well, greetings from London. Take care.